So in uh, this section of our chapter on photosynthesis 8.4, we're going to look at the organization of structures that are responsible for absorbing uh, the light energy uh, in the light-dependent reactions. Uh, and these structures are called photosystems. So our learning outcomes are going to be, one, to describe the nature of these photosystems, and two, to contrast the function of the reaction center and the antenna chlorophyll molecules that are found within photosystems. So uh, what's going to happen here is that light uh, of certain wavelengths are going to be captured by those photosystems. And these photosystems are going to uh, consist of two components. Those components include an antenna complex and a reaction center. And so the antenna complex is going to have hundreds of accessory pigment molecules and they're going to gather a portion of uh, uh, photons. They're going to gather the energy from the light uh, that those pigments absorb at and feed that captured energy to the reaction center. So now we go to the reaction center. The reaction center is going to contain one or more chlorophyll A. Remember chlorophyll A is the one that directly transfers energy uh, to make our uh, chemical energy and, and organic molecules. And this uh, reaction center chlorophylls are going to pass those uh, excited electrons out uh, to be used to drive the processes. So looking first at the antenna complex and uh, detailing a little bit more. The antenna complex, it's also called the light harvesting complex. Uh, remember it's made of accessory pigments, so it's going to capture photons from sunlight and channels them towards the reaction center chlorophylls. The reaction center chlorophylls, as we said a while ago, are going to have the chlorophyll A. So our accessory pigments, like chlorophyll B, carotenoids or other uh, types of pigments are going to capture those photons then pass them to our chlorophyll A's in the reaction center. Uh, in the chloroplast, the light harvesting consists of a web of chlorophylls, like chlorophyll B molecules, and they're going to be linked, be linked and held tightly together in the thylakoid membrane by uh, specific proteins. Uh, and so if we look at this diagram 810, Right here we have the surface of the phospholipid binder that makes up our thylakoid. So we're at the surface of the thylakoid there. Those are our phosphate heads. In, underneath there is our, our um, fatty acid tails, you know, the basic structure of a phospholipid binder. So overall we have our matrix of protein with our, uh, our chlorophyll molecules like chlorophyll B. So photon of light comes in here and strikes at the right uh, our wavelengths and that energy not the electrons, but the energy is going to be passed from the excited chlorophyll molecule to the next. And so this energy is going to be bounced around and eventually makes it to the reaction center there. Okay, so uh, when we look at the reaction center, it's also a portion of uh, this photosystem. Uh, and there you're going to have more pro another protein uh, uh, pigment complex. So it's transmembrane, goes all the way across. And when a chlorophyll in the reaction center uh, which is a chlorophyll A absorbs a photon of light, the electron is going to be excited uh, to a much higher level. This light energy, uh, light energized electron uh, then can be transferred to a primary acceptor. When that acceptor takes that electron away from the chlorophyll, the chlorophyll is oxidized, uh, which we see here, but the electron acceptor is going to be reduced, at least temporarily. And so what happens when the chlorophyll becomes oxidized, it now has uh, basically a void it's missing an electron, okay? So we're gonna to need to replace that. So we come back to this diagram from earlier. <coughs> Here is our, our, uh, our reaction center chlorophyll, receives that energy and an electron from that molecule. And we saw the chlorophyll molecule structure earlier. Just one electron from that molecule gets excited to a higher energy state and it'll get captured by uh, a molecule electron acceptor. Uh, so now that we have that, uh, that void, this entire uh, structure here is oxidized, we're going to need to replace it. And this diagram shows that that replacement is going to be coming from a donor, some donor molecule. If this is oxygenic photosynthesis, then this donor molecule is water. And when we split water, we get our oxygen from there. Uh, so this whole process is sort of diagrammed in this uh, sort of cycle here. Uh, so our uh, photosystem 
absorbs the light, that light gets transferred uh, to our uh, reaction center chlorophyll. So the light gets absorbed. Our electron gets to excite an excited state. You can see that the electron here has, has raised to a higher level. And right next to it is our electron acceptor. So in the next picture right here below, you see that the electron gets passed to that uh, acceptor, reducing it. So now it's reduced and our chlorophyll is oxidized. Uh, and then right next to it, you see your donor molecule. And the donor molecule then will uh, donate that electron to replace the electron that was lost from the chlorophyll. And then now we can reuse uh, that same chlorophyll molecule and repeat the process. Again, if this is oxygenic photosynthesis, then this donor that gets oxidized is water. Where we, when we split the water and we get our oxygen from there. If it's uh, anoxygenic, like in the case of sulfur bacteria, uh, we might be taking the uh, electrons from hydrogen sulfide, and if we do this, is where we get sulfur from. So uh, the sulfur bacteria would produce sulfur from there.